Both veterans described the late Ndakolo as a gallant fighter who went through thick and thin but never wavered. The two generals, as well as the current Minister of Defense, among many other senior plane fighters, served under the command of Mbulunganga since 1975 during the heavy war. The late Mbulunganga was the second in charge after Dimo Amambo. I would describe him again as uh, one of the gallant fighters who led uh, his region as it was required by different operations. You know, during those periods, it was not an easy thing. He started a long way before some of us uh, joined to the people's base in Amos and Namibia. But what is important, like I said earlier on, uh, Comrade Mbulunganga was one of the largest that we have seen in dependence in Namibia, of which uh, <clears throat> now today we are looking at something like uh, 29 years you know, of independence. I know from where he has been, he must has been uh, enjoying, uh, I think, also the fruits of the support of the independent dying station. Ndaitwa says the government's declaration of the fallen soldier as a hero is testimony to his immense contribution to the country's independence. Lieutenant General Martin Shali says he was particularly impressed with Mbulunganga's combat leadership. He says he was a very strategic and tactful leader whose team spirit always steered successful operation of his team. Shali, however, wants Namibians to tell untold stories of the many unknown soldiers who made equally massive contributions. In terms of uh, the history of liberation, Namibia has uh, a wonderful history to tell was one of the longest protracted uh, liberation uh, struggle waged on the African continent, both as individual, uh, individually and collectively, that we did not pay too much attention on our uh, glorious history. Yes, there are a lot of other people who are still alive who are not known. I don't know how many people knew Mbulunganga. It's just like Mekuru was buried in Nana not, not long time ago. And people wondered, well, they didn't even know that this lady existed. When somebody dies, that's when we rush to find out who the person is and what kind of status it should be accorded. Yes, um, I think we've become a nation that only honors people after they're dead. The two veterans say Mbulunganga has done his part and what is left is now for the younger generations to translate the economic dreams of the country and forge prosperity for all. Daniel Nadunya, NBC News.